So here we have a Terraza W5 Pro, which is a Windows 10 Pro, that's what that means, uh, compute stick from Intel. Well, it's, it's Intel manufactured, it's Intel product, it's just warranted and sold by Terraza. And we've done a full unboxing and review of that. And as you can see, we have it running uh, on HDMI uh, right here. Let me just unplug it for you in case you're not clear on that. There we go. And this is just an extension cable. And uh, boom, pop that back in, there we go. Uh, we have it running on HDMI on this monitor, and that works just fine, except uh, my problem is I need to get uh, this stick, this compute stick, working on VGA. And the reason for that is, in my case, I've got an elevator lobby with some screens in it that are VGA only. Yes, I know that's ridiculous and that's old, but that's what it is, so I'm not going to argue about it. It just is. So now the question is, can you get... Uh, uh, compute stick, an Intel compute stick with HDMI only, because that's all they come with, to work on VGA. And I don't know the answer, but I found a forum with a guy that said it could work, so I went and bought the equipment, and we're going to find out together. So here it is. What I purchased was this uh, lovely HDMI to VGA adapter, which is, you know, pretty standard these days. Let's just open that up. By the way, I have not put this together already. I have not pulled this apart, so I really don't know if, if this is gonna work. But what's included in here is, there we go, HDMI to VGA adapter. And yeah, that's for sound. There we go. That's audio and that is for power. And presumably the power, and I don't know this, presumably the power comes from this little uh, USB cable. So I've got to plug that in somewhere and I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, in a minute, but uh, that, that I think is all that's required to get this to work. So this is not a passive adapter, it's an active adapter because it requires the electricity. Um, now here's the problem. You think, okay, well, you spent your, you know, $15 on the adapter, good for you, it'll just work, or not. Well, now that still won't work because, take a look, HDMI, HDMI, not going to be very, um, <laughs> you know, I'm really gonna have to push hard to make that work. So then what I had to do, was go buy uh, uh, these uh, adapters, right? Uh, dual, uh, double female. So let's just tear this apart. There we go. And there's one of them there. So you can see it's female HDMI at both ends. And we're gonna find out right now if this works. So I'm going to stop working on this monitor and I'm going to work on the monitor to the right. So let's just slide this over. Okay, so this is a uh, more traditional Dell monitor. This, the other one, by the way, did not have an HDMI or did not have a VGA port on it. It's uh, only digital. This one, however, is older and it does have uh, a VGA. So I've attached a VGA cable to save you the time of watching that happen. Uh, so let's just see if we can make this work. So uh, again, I'm gonna take the uh, Intel compute stick right here and I'm going to plug this in, the adapter. I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to try this without the power first and see if that works. I really do not know what to expect here other than I'm guessing I'm going to need the power. Oh, maybe not. So it's just going to work. Oh, no kidding. I didn't even need the adapter. I didn't need the power adapter. Hell yeah. So that answers the question. Yes, with uh, a an adapter, uh, female to female, um, uh, HDMI adapter and uh, a standard uh, adapter I purchased off of our friends at uh, Amazon from uh, this was this one's from Ranky uh, R A N K I E. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. Um, uh, but boom, it's up. Uh, now let's see if we can change the video resolution or see if that's just set. So let's go to display settings. Oh, that's awesome. And I gotta tell you, I, I know you might think I'm feigning some surprise here, but I'm, I'm not feigning this at all. I'm, I'm actually a bit surprised that this worked, especially without having power. Yeah, boom, so that's full 1080. Uh, a few changes. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, great. Now, okay, so we're good to go here. So uh, I'll put up uh, benchmarks on here that I did earlier on this to show you the, how, how really slow this compute stick is. But for what I need, 
uh, it's going to do the job just fine. This is the, as it's labeled uh, here, this is a, uh, an Intel Atom Z, uh, it's actually an X5 Z8350, uh, and it's a four gig, 64 gig stick. Now you could spend more money and get 128 gig with eight gig, uh, but um, it's about an extra uh, 50, 60 bucks, and I didn't want to do that because all I want to do is drive these elevator lobby screens, which are like this. And uh, I just want to put up some PowerPoint presentations, run some websites, um, uh, things like that. And what I'm going to do is plug this in, put this, uh, this is Windows 10 Pro, so I could put this on the domain, but I'm not going to because I don't want it to have any particular access. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is, is uh, just remote to it uh, through Wi-Fi because it's got Wi-Fi built in. And I'm going to use it just for the digital signage. So when I need to change it, change to it, I'll just remote to it and we'll be on our way. Um, okay, that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.